Welcome back. Well, the Lily Mine tragedy seven years ago highlighted safety at mining sites. The Council for Scientific and Industrial Research is hoping to contribute to that. It's showcasing virtual reality training technology at this week's mining in Daba in Cape Town. Virtual reality is used to give mining personnel simulated training in how to respond to near real emergency situations. CSIR Executive Manager of Future Production Mining, Bongilin Suilengwe, speaks to us now about this and more. Smungida, thank you so much for your time and uh, good morning to you. Uh, this is quite important and I suppose this will take centre stage at this week's uh, Mining in Daba held in Cape Town. But for those catching on, explain what the virtual reality training technology actually is all about. Good morning, Dumelo, and good morning to your viewers. Thank you very much <clears throat> for the opportunity afforded to, to us. So let me step back and say... Uh, that the CSIR organizational strategy has identified high impact sectors of which the mining industry is one, where we believe that South Africa could carve out competitive advantage to stimulate, to stimulate overall socioeconomic growth. And we've embarked on a strategy um, development where we embarked on a journey 20, in 2020 to partner with the industry in identifying these unique opportunities. And as you said, our competency-based training using virtual reality technology forms part of these innovation opportunities that we've identified. Now, traditionally, training methods normally involve training, listening in a classroom, in a lecture format, reading training content, which is normally followed by an assessment um, as a means of evaluating the performance of a trainee. Mm. This method generally known to be poor, to have poor retention and recollection of knowledge. Only up to 30% of the information that you are taught in a classroom based can you really recall in a long term future scenario for you to be able to use it. So what we've done is we've developed a novel competency-based training using virtual reality and other immersive technologies aimed at providing mind workers with a simulated immersive and experiential training to enable them to adequately respond during an emergency mm. situation. And I'll elaborate more in terms of why this is important. Right. But our training, yes, yeah, so our... our uh, Immersive training uh, uh, tool uses a number of elements um, to mention a few, three elements that we believe are critical in ensuring that there is reskilling of mining workers. The first one is it uses an interactive learning in virtual reality platform where uh, the, in, in the case of the learners, they have uh, to firstly absorb the content and really demonstrate the understanding of them recalling this information. Mm. That's the first element. So the second element talks to experiential training component, where it's important that the trainees get an opportunity to learn by doing, and thus increasing their retention of recalling this information, being able to bring it up when there's an emergency situation. Mm. So this talks to physical deployment, um, for instance, of specific devices like a breathing simulator, which is really a lifeline um, for a, a mine worker underground in a, a, a an emergency. Mm. The third element is an immersive training module where we recreate the emergency situation or scenario aimed at creating a near real life situation where it causes a psycho uh, a, a emotional response really for the trainee to respond adequately given the environment that really is simulated to trigger those senses right. for them. If I may just jump in, Sibongida, because I can see that the uh, this is more of a people-centered digital solution. You often refer to trainees, the workers, so they are very much centered in this uh, technology. Uh, how can it further help enhance mind safety? I, was that the goal, to ensure that mind safety too is equally at the center of this digital technology and how does it enhance that mind safety? Great. So part of our roadmap, innovation roadmap is really 
to support mining business value drivers. As, as you know, mining has a zero harm mining uh, business value driver, which talks to improving safety and health of the mine workers. So this training, um, and, and I'll also talk about other exhibitions um, that we're having, really engages other senses of the mine worker and ensuring that they can then recall the information and bring it up uh, during an emergency. And, and what that, this does is it embeds this information in a long-term memory, meaning that the people are now reskilled to be able to make a, a, a better decision during a, an emergency and really saving their lives. Mm. And speaking about those other technologies that will be showcased at the conference, what do they include? All right. So we are showcasing a number of technologies, um, starting with the TMM Digital Twin, which is a near real-time digital risk prediction tool in support of collision prevention. As um, your listeners might know, that this is one of the key um, areas where there is safety um, is critical. So our reasons for focusing on this technology solution is transport-related incidents, including those caused by trackless mobile machinery, as we call TMM, have been amongst the top three causes of fatalities and injuries in the South African min uh, mining industry over the past decade. Mm. And attaining zero harm production in the, the, the industry requires continuous development and implementation of these innovative solutions. So the tool uses artificial intelligence, machine learning, digital twin to really evaluate risk associated with vehicle interaction. And the tool also provides a data-driven insight for the driver, including other decision makers across the value chain to be able to measure the control uh, parameters that have been put in place to ensure that the, the driver arrives safely mm. at the point of destination. And, and this is obviously continuous um, a technology and solution that has been developed jointly with the industry, I must add. Right, yeah. Uh, the uh, other technology uh, that... Just briefly, uh, yes. I before we let you go, in a few seconds, yes, finish your point. No, I was saying the other technology that we've, we're showcasing is a high-resolution ground-penetrating radar mm. that uses drone capability. And we would love to invite your viewers to please come through and, and come and see our exhibition where they will get an opportunity to interact with the cutting-edge technologies and as well as our experts. And this is exactly the point that I was about to make to say, because we are limited in time in our conversation, but there's still ample opportunity, right, uh, for South Africans, uh, or for anyone really, to make their way to conference, get to the CSIR exhibition stand and get to interact and engage with the technology. And thank you so much uh, to you, Bongile, for filling us in on what to expect. Cutting edge technology at the center of it being safety, the safety of uh, mine workers, trainees, as Bongile had referred to, uh, especially after the Lily Mine tragedy, uh, I think lessons can be extrapolated and one being mine safety, being at the centre, of course, of the mining industry. All our thanks to Svonglin Solengwe, Executive Manager of Future Production uh, Mining at the CSR, for joining us this morning.